David, I'd like to pass it over to you, to your new segment, which is By the Numbers. All right. Well, By the Numbers, what I'd like to bring on is, or my topic is going to be about, um, currently right now, a lot of people are talking about the CARES Act uh, for business. And, and with my segment that I'd like to uh, run with weekly is it's going to be about um, calculations, numbers, spreadsheets. I mean, things that I use um, all the time. So I want to talk about the CARES Act, the EIDL loan, which is for most companies, a maximum loan of up to 150000 which is a 30-year loan um, at 3.75%. So, you know, what I have here is uh, an amortization chart that really breaks down what the EIDL loan uh, is going to look like. Now, I've adjusted the principles slightly um, just to mimic that uh, period because the loan really isn't doesn't get paid back for you know I think eleven months. But for uh, for the the basic calculations, we're talking three point seven five percent rate over thirty years. Now, again, this is the EIDL loan which comes from the SBA, um, from the federal government. So what we have here is a, a typical amortization chart. And look at the total interest, which is paid back over time of the 30 years. Now, 30 years is a long time when it comes to uh, a business loan. Like, can you even imagine still being in business in 30 years? I mean, we've only been around for 10 years. And 10 years ago, I would have never imagined we made it this far. So, you know... A 30-year loan is a little crazy, $100,000 in interest payments, a little crazy. So what I wanted to showcase is if we look at the second sheet here, and by just paying an extra $1,284 to make the payment a nice round number of $2,000 a month, you know the total interest drops from $103,000 to $22,000 in total interest. And also, we can scroll down here and see that you pay off the loan in 89 months rather than 360. I mean, that's a, a, a drop of, you know, two thirds of your payments just disappear when you pay that much extra. And when you're getting a $150,000 loan from the government and you're paying back 2000 a month, um, that's pretty, you know, pretty reasonable. Now let's take it to the extreme. Now you've taken this $150,000 loan and you're in prep for the worst that can happen, but it doesn't happen to you. Your clients don't disappear and you want to aggressively get this loan paid off because you may not need it. Now, if you have the money to just pay it off and give it right back, great, do that. But remember, this is a 3.75% loan from the government. You're pretty much not going to get a better rate than that anywhere else. So if you could use the capital and the cash flow to, to create safety for your business, you want to take advantage of that. But when you have to start paying it back after 11 months, if you can add an extra 4,284 for a nice round $5,000 a month repayment schedule, your total interest drops to 8,233. I mean, that's, you know, that's like 8% of what you were paying. You went from 103,000 in interest to 8,000. That's nothing. And then spread that. That's only 33 payments. That's you're in less than three years. You don't owe the government anymore while still having that cash flow and you can draw down that um you know slowly over time so you know i just wanted to showcase in my segment of by the numbers what it looks like to get um that sba loan the eidl along with that ten thousand dollar grant and what it looks like to repay it because it's going to come sooner rather than later that businesses that got that are going to you know be a little taken by surprise like oh wait i got to start paying this this Again, is the EIDL loan that doesn't have the loan forgiveness. This is a straight SBA loan, um, which, you know, let me add a little information here is that this is for businesses that this is their first initial SBA loan. It's really great to actually establish that relationship with the, with the SBA. Let's imagine in eight years that we run into some other issue, another pandemic or, or, or any other kind of financial situation having that pre-established relationship with the SBA is going to prove invaluable. So there is going to be some advantage to establish that payment um, record with the SBA so they can see that pattern of uh, repayment that isn't erratic. I think for the businesses that just pay it back lump sum in 11 months, 
it's not really going to establish that trust when you need it. Because I do know from other business owners that we've talked to, you know, the ones that had the pre-existing relationship with the SBA got funded faster. Um, they got through the process sooner. And, you know, for us, this was our first opportunity and it took a long time. So, you know, there's definite advantage to maintaining that relationship. And on that note, that's by the numbers.